Okay, so now what I have is a running instance of the database ex1 and uh, I've installed grid infrastructure into its own home but we have not run root.sh oops okay so if I attempt to run root.sh now it complains and it says, hey, what do we what do you actually want? Do you want a single node or do you want a cluster? And if it's a cluster, do all this stuff. Uh, first configure it, obviously, configure the settings and then actually run the scripts. Or if it's standalone, then go ahead and do this. So in our case, it's standalone. Okay. Now, please also keep in mind that I am running a listener out of the database home. And we're going to continue doing that. But one thing we don't have right now is a listener.ora file. See, there's no listener.ora here. So if I do a listener cuddle status, you can see we are not using um, a config file for the listener. This is going to be this is going to be um, important in a second. Okay, so I've run the root script appropriately. We now have something configured. So let's take a look at what we've done. Okay, so. Um, You can see that we have a couple of targets here, or a couple of um, resources here, and uh, it's not very interesting. We don't have ASM, we don't have uh, listener managed here, the listener is still uh, unmanaged, um, and same with the database instance. So let's fix that in SRVCTO. Now, some of you may have never done this before. And me too. I'm not really super familiar with SRVCTL or CRSCTL for adding and removing resources. It's not something you do every day, right? So just run SRVCTL. Just know where you need to go. It's SRVCTL. And notice that we have the verbs add, remove. Pretty obvious what that is. And the kinds of things you can add and remove. Database, ASM, listener. Okay, things are sounding pretty good. So let's give this a shot. Let's do an add listener. Now, before I just run add listener, I'm going to throw a dash H in here just to see the help. Maybe there's a few things I want to specify. So I could go dash L and be explicit about the name of the listener. However, the default is probably what I'm interested in, right? And uh, I need to specify the home in which the software is uh, found. In this case, it is not the GI home, it is the Oracle home of the database software. So I do need to provide that option. And there it is. And it might be a good idea as well to specify the port. So dash P and then TCP 1521 um, should be adequate. Okay, so that should do it. Um, let's give this a shot. Now it says, hang on a second, 1521 is already in use. So I could say skip checking of ports, but you know what, let's just do this right. Let's bring down the listener and let's add this. Now if I do a Chris Cuddle stat res dash T, you can see here listener has been added but it's not online. Well, pretty obvious. So let's do uh, SRVCTL start listener. And if I don't explicitly specify which listener, it assumes the listener whose name is all caps listener. Go back over here. Whoops, I didn't want to do a stop. Uh, all right, let me pay attention. Let's start it back up and let's pull up a status and you can see uh oh 
it doesn't look like we're actually listening on 1521. You see, so that's kind of key. If you think you did the, the job right, at least go and check it. We have a problem here. Well, what happened was we actually created a listener to Aura. We? Well, I didn't. This was just created by CRS. Well, let's take a look at what damage he did. Oh, no, he didn't actually put in the right protocol here. All right, so all we have to do is, of course, add the appropriate entry. So let's make let's give ourselves a line here, and let's just uh, kind of put this right there. Address equals protocol equals TCP, um, host equals um, 01 example com, and port equals 1521, and close off that address line. And you know what? I should probably just get rid of some of these spaces. Okay, now eh, who really cares about formatting? It's it's you, you get the idea. Okay, it's a listener.aura. So let's bounce this sucker again. We're going to use server cuddle for that. And we have a mistake in my listener.aura file. Where is it? We'll just do that. And we'll bring this guy back up. And there we go. Okay. Now, I don't know if you saw that, but I took these two parentheses from this line below and moved it up here. And um, uh, it's just because I didn't indent them. That's, that's partly it. So anyhow, that's my fault. I completely forgot the syntax, obviously. And as you can see, we get errors even in this case. So, so we try to help you out. It's kind of neat. Okay, Chris Cuddle stat. Oops. Oh, right. Of course. I forgot. I don't actually have a ASM yet, right? So CRSCTL stat res dash t. And you can see that we are aware that listeners online. Okay, let's do one more thing. Let's get a little more aggressive and let's do an SRVCTL add database. And I happen to know it's dash D, EX1, and dash O again for the home. There it is. Now, he's not actually being managed by clusterware. So we're unaware of it being online. It is online, however. If we do a listener cuddle status. Hmm, that's interesting. It doesn't appear that uh, that port is up. All right, so let's just go back to here. We'll do a stop. And it appears that we are looking at the listener.aura out of that home. I don't see any syntax error here. So let's start up the listener again. There we go. OK. Maybe I forgot to bounce it. Anyhow, I'm now successfully listening on that port. And if I connect to the database instance and do an alter system register, even though my listener, my local listener, my remote listener is not defined, we will register ourselves with a local listener and we're good. Okay, so now if I go to uh, Chris Cuddle, you can see he's still not aware that it's offline, or that it's online. So let's just bring it under management. So I'll manually shut down the instance, and then I'll bring it back up. Uh, of course, I have to um, prefix it, do that, and I'll let GI manage my database instance. There we are. Pretty cool, huh? OK, so what we've done is we've manually added a couple of resources to GI for Oracle Restart or Clusterware Management. That's great.